Hello and welcome to the first topic of this course, IEA 501-3 Atmospheric Science and Air Quality. My name is Yusri Yusuf and I'll be the instructor uh, for this course for this semester. And um, let us begin with the first slide. Topic one, introduction to the atmosphere. First, we're going to cover three main topics. The first is the, uh, the first is why study atmospheric science. The second is the definitions and terms of reference in atmospheric science. The third is a brief survey of the atmosphere, and this has uh, subtopics within it. The first is the optical properties, mass, chemical composition, vertical structure of the atmosphere. Uh, number two is the, the winds of the wind patterns in the atmosphere. And number three is the precipitation um, that occurs in the atmosphere. Now, these topics are, um, there are more topics in the book that I recommend for you to go through, but then uh, I choose uh, the ones that are the most relevant for this, this region, which is uh, Southeast Asia and, or Malaysia specifically. Now, in the winds topic, we're going to talk about the scales of atmospheric motion, the general circulation of the atmosphere, and also the mesoscale circulations. Um, we start from the very large scale to the small scale. Now, the first uh, brief um, subtopic of this first topic is why do we need to study atmospheric science in the first place? Now, uh, atmospheric science is an applied discipline, and um, it involves um, the study, the, the science is involved with the structure and all the evolution of the atmosphere and any uh, processes and phenomena that occurs within it. It's a combination of uh, two fundamental science and an application of uh, science, which are physics, uh, chemistry and fluid dynamics. Now, we uh, study atmospheric science because um, we are able, to, we can develop tools to uh, to make predictions, to, to make predictions on how the weather is going to be um, in the future. So a very, very prominent application of atmospheric science is weather forecasting. Um, we need weather forecasting because we can through weather forecasting, we can make informed decisions on the economy, resource management, and military, among other, um, among other applications, among other um, fields. Uh, in terms of economy, um, with weather forecasting, we're able to, uh, to uh, give reasons or give advice on, on, on whether fishermen can go out to the sea to fish or uh, whether uh, ships are able to use a certain route to carry uh, containers or carry their cargo through a certain area in the sea, or even agriculture, to uh, give advice to farmers on whether they be able to, um, they should start planting or they, they or they should start to harvest, because um, they would be, we, be able to give predictions on whether it will rain or not rain, and then rain is directly affected to the productivity of the farm or of the crop. And then the second, resource management. Um, we use weather forecasting so that we'll be able to plan the urban um, landscape. Um, we can use um, weather forecasting to also put some work into ecosystem conservation, etc. And even in the military, where we can use the uh, knowledge of the characteristics of the atmosphere for uh, targeting our accuracy or even routes of military craft through the through the air or on the on the ocean. Thank you.